take two. I'm getting ready to eat some ravioli and have a Pepsi, and I didn't take you guys with me to film Tuesday night's feeding, because my phone was dead. Uh, so, I don't know what's going on with Kamani. Um, she still has all that brown stuff in her mouth, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. But it could be something completely different. So, I went out to feed, and she was grazing. And I do the air quotes because there's no food out there. There's no grass. She gets fed twice a day. So there's nothing for her to graze on unless she saves her food and grazes on that throughout the day. And so she was eating dirt. She walked all the way up from the end of the pasture to me. And of course I checked her mouth. And her mouth is full of brown saliva, a.k.a. dirt or whatever's really going on. And so some of you might be saying, well, if you think it's her eating dirt, why don't you cancel the vet visit? There's a few reasons. One, it could be something completely different. Um, like the vet said, she's extremely worried. So it could be something completely different. And her eating dirt just is part of it. Uh, two, her stomach's been really hard. And she's been laying down a lot more. She's getting a stuffy nose. And she's got crusty eyes. And three, uh, it could definitely be a sand or impaction colic from her eating dirt. It's pretty much the same thing as sand colic, but dirt colic. And if she is eating a lot of dirt and causing herself to get sick and do things that aren't normal, <laughs> uh, then the vet needs to see her anyways to see how bad the impaction is and see what we need to do and see if there's anything that we should do to get her to stop. Because I normally I'd, I'd pre-feed her, but JD boobs owner is the one bringing hay and he's treating me like crap again saying I'm overfeeding when I'm only feeding four flakes a day which is the normal amount and he's saying that the horse and I just stand around all day so she doesn't need four flakes of hay a day you call up any vet office and the standard feeding is two flakes in the morning two flakes at night it doesn't matter if they're an old pasture pet that does nothing or if they're working ranch horse that's the standard feeding so he clearly doesn't know anything about horses I'm gonna eat my food before it gets cold but I wanted to update you guys on why I would still get a vet out even if she's just eating dirt because you don't know how bad the impaction is until it's too late. I would rather them scope her or do whatever they're going to do and me have the money and have it checked out. Okay, I'll see you guys after the vet appointment tomorrow morning. <clears throat> I know the lighting's bad. It's 9 o'clock Tuesday night. I've been talking with a lady on Instagram who used to be a vet tech, I believe, or a vet student. We were talking about the possibilities of what could be wrong with Kamani, uh, eating dirt maybe, and having sand colic. Well, I went out to check on her about 20 minutes ago. Sorry, I'm eating a hot dog. <laughs> and um, her entire mouth and in between her teeth, you okay, boo boo? Sorry. And her throat are filled with cheatgrass. When I was talking to the lady, it could kill her if she swallows too much and it gets down into her system. Or it could be a fifteen to 20000 if not more, dollar surgery to get it all out. So what we're going to do when we're done eating, we're going to go out with a flashlight, put a halter on her. We're going to open her mouth like you would if you put a bit in. And we're going to take a rag, have somebody hold her head, have somebody hold the flashlight, and hold her mouth open and wipe out what we can get. And we don't want her dying from it. I guess if it gets down into their kidneys um, or their lungs or something, I don't remember what she said. It can like leave punctures because if you've ever gotten cheat grass in your horse's mouth, you know it leaves holes and it causes an infection. They get an infection clear down in their lungs or their kidneys or wherever it is that she said, it'll kill them. Plain and simple. So, we'll see what the vet says.